Well, just one powerful kick killed a man and left a former McKinley High School football player charged with manslaughter. KITV Force Ann Sterling takes us to the first day of testimony in his trial. Family members flank former McKinley High School football player Jeremy Bradley as his trial gets underway. Bradley was a senior in March of 2014 when the state says he kicked 38 year old John Howard in the chest. Howard died from the fall. His skull was fractured, an eight inch fracture traveling from the back of his head to the front. The state says it all started with three high school buddies going out for a night of fun. The group was driving on Comana Street in Eva Beach when they saw the victim drinking alcohol outside his home. The evidence will show that taunting and challenging gestures were made while Mr. Howard just stood there. Without any provocation on Mr. Howard's part, the defendant turned and with a roundhouse kick struck Mr. Howard square in the sternum, sending him back. The state says after the victim fell, the friends took a picture with an iPhone. But the defense attorney paints a different picture, saying Howard was drunk, standing in the street, yelling at the teens. Mr. Howard came over to the car unprovoked and threw a, fury, a series of punches into the face of Jeremy. Jeremy blocked the punches. And the defense says that's when the teens got out of their car to find out why Howard was blocking traffic. And the only reason Bradley kicked him was out of self-defense. Had he not been so intoxicated, had he not been so belligerent, do you think maybe he wouldn't have stumbled and fell down? He would have braced his fall? Ann Sterling, KITV 4 News.